We've got your back tonight. We're digging more into the president of Quinnipiac University after that video that was all over YouTube and went viral showing him stopping by a campus party, an off campus party. Well, some are telling us tonight that the school does not have the best relationship with Hamden and that it all comes down to money. News 8's Jason Newton is live in Hamden with this new information tonight. Jason. And we're here on New Road, just south of the university campus, and this road exemplifies the problem. All the houses here used to be taxable property, but the university has bought them all up, taking them right off of the tax roll. I didn't even know this street existed. I'm going to have to buy all these houses. I got all on New Road and most of Whitney Avenue, but I didn't realize you're kind of tucked away back here. It's no joking matter for Hamden Town officials. Quinnipiac buying off-campus houses has dramatically reduced the town's tax rolls. It has millions of dollars of impact. If, for example, we were able to tax all of Quinnipiac's property in Hamden, we'd receive $9 million in tax revenue. So when the president made his seemingly off-the-cuff remarks at a wild off-campus party, it damaged the delicate balance between town-gown relations that he once touted. I think the, um, the town gown relations actually between Quinnipiac and the town of Hamden are actually pretty good right now. Quinnipiac owns nearly 60 homes that they rent out to students. Homes that were once taxable property are now tax exempt dormitories. So instead of $9 million in property taxes, Hamden receives much less. So we get $3 million in total revenue, leaving a $6 million short of what we would get if they were all taxable. Not to mention the raucous behavior here, a woman is caught urinating in a front yard. Oh, hi, Quinnipiac girls. This is not your property. Get off. This footage is from the wild house party where Leahy showed up. It's not a university-owned property, but hosted by students. Quinnipiac is great, and we would hardly have a bad word to say about Quinnipiac moving forward if we could just get the majority of the students, or, or a further majority of the students, onto campus. Now, earlier this year, Quinnipiac did make a $1.2 million contribution to the town of Hamden, but there's no indication that that's going to be a yearly contribution, so it does not affect the tax rate overall for the town. Now, coming up just before 6 o'clock tonight, we're going to have more information on the Quinnipiac University president. That's the very latest live in Hamden. Jason Newton, News 8.